one of the required documents for a fiance visa from the girl's aspect is what's called a cinemar. It is a document that they have to get from the Philippine government. The biggest thing you need to know is make sure the girl that you're interested in has never been married. There is zero divorce in the Philippines. If she has been married and that marriage was registered with the Philippine government, she will never be able to qualify for a fiance visa. One of the required documents for a fiance visa from the girl's aspect is what's called a cinemar. It is a document that they have to get from the Philippine government certifying that they have never been married because there is zero marriage uh, divorce in the Philippines. It does not le exist legally in the Philippines in any way, shape or form. Annulments are possible. They're very expensive and they're not a guarantee. Um, so I'm just telling you right now, when you do this, that is one of the questions you need to make sure you ask her point blank. Have you ever been married? Because if she has been, she will not qualify for a uh, fiance visa. That is the only caveat in the Philippines for the fiance visa process. Any other country in the world, they have divorces in those countries. If she's been divorced, it's just like when you do this, you'll have to provide a copy of your divorce decree from the, the state you were divorced in. You just get your copy, a certified copy from the state, um, and you submit it with your paperwork. Um, any other country in the world, if the girl had been divorced, they do the same thing that we do here. But in the Philippines, they do not have the concept of divorce legally in their government. So it is not something that these women are able to do. So if she had been married, she does not qualify for a fiance visa. It is one of the only annoying things about the Philippine government is this one point. Oh, that and everything costs you money with the Philippine government. Nothing they do there is, you know, just done for you. you gotta pay for everything with the government there. Uh, let's see here. Ken, people pay to meet women in the Philippines. Just be nice and respectful and they will come to you. Um, no, Ken, no. They, they won't because if you don't use a service like this how are you going to meet them that that's what i'm trying to get at i mean if you go travel to the philippines on your own and you just walk around the mall and try to hit on girls yeah i guess that that, that would work but how else are you going to meet a woman that's on the other side of the world unless you're using a paid service and i hate to break it to you using any of this websites out there that are chat based websites you don't know if the other person on the other end of that line is actually the girl or not we don't actually want you to write any letters we just want you to go on a tour and meet girls in person like these pretty girls right here on the screen that you're looking at while i'm talking right now I mean, you, you gotta pay for a service to meet the girl somehow. So whether it be uh, via a paid chat service on someone else's website and you don't know if the person you're chatting is the person that's in the picture, or if you just pay for a tour and go over there and meet some girls uh, at our ser using our service, one way or another, you gotta have, there's an intermediary that's gonna be involved for you to make that connection. So, I mean, hopefully that, that works for you there, bud. Are you tired of the same old dating sites? Travel to exciting places and meet hundreds of stunning single women. Check out our website at AsianLoveMates.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.